So Rich Paul posed the question. He said, if Steph Curry would have won the 2020 NBA championship in the bubble, would it have been discredited? No. If Steph wins in the bubble, do they discredit it? Yeah, you got no. to. No. no, they don't. And that's a big bullseye. But see, we understand the majority of the people who do want to place an asterisk by that championship only want to do so for one reason. What? Come on, talk to me. I Bump the gums. Bump the gums. <laughs> they want to use it as another arguing point in the never-ending Jordan versus LeBron debate. And it's quite silly if you ask me. See, before the outcome of that 2020 NBA championship, you had a plethora of media pundits who went on TV daily saying that if LeBron would have lost that championship, it would have been devastating. It will be a devastating hit to LeBron James. It would have been catastrophic. But if LeBron loses, all hell's gonna break loose. It would have been a monumental hit to his legacy and his career. It would severely hurt his legacy. But see, what I don't understand is, how can the impact pendulum swing so swiftly in only one direction? That put LeBron in a lose-lose situation. Yep. See, if he lose, it's monumental. But if he wins, then it don't really count. But see, they don't want it to count because if it counts, then that puts him closer to the six rings held by Michael Jordan. And they don't want that. But see, I think they're using rings to determine who is a better player. It's kind of stupid anyway. I think that when you use rings to decide who is a better player, that's like giving one all the credit for a group project. He ain't lying. It don't work like that. So now we left with this never ending debate that's filled with all these falsehoods and all these false narratives. The constant narrative about nitpicking things with LeBron, most of them are just not factual. LeBron James is not clutch, right? That's another thing that people bring up all the time. See, we can judge players on skill, ability, impact, what you did on the floor throughout your career. Yeah. Is LeBron James know. clutch? Well, he, you could make the argument he's the most clutch player ever. But the lengths that these people go to to create these false narratives and discredit both players, Jordan and LeBron, in a debate that really can't even be won is crazy. But go off, though. Don't you get tired of this shit? But y'all know that if any other team and any other player would have won a championship in that bubble in 2020, the talk of an asterisk by it wouldn't be as dominant. Can you imagine if Paul George and Kawhi won that championship in a bubble in 2020? Y'all would have been claiming Kawhi was the king of L.A. for real. Well, that just would have been another way for y'all to take a shot at LeBron. BS or bullseye? Tap in. Let's chop it up in the comments.